morning, 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 morning. This is a Monacy podcast. Code red, code red, who are code red? Here we are. Pick up your iPads, your cell phones, and have me and listen to Uncle the Podcast. Watch out. If you're sitting down for this, or if you're standing up, you better get ready for this, because it's going to hit the air, eardrums. Uncle the Podcast. You are listening to Uncle the Broadcast. My name is Aaron. I'm the nephew in law. Here with me is the star of the show, Uncle. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. 200 and something. I don't know. I'm too far ahead. Let's yeah. see. We are at, let me pull it up, Uncle. It's right here. We're at 253, it looks like. 253. That sounds right. Yeah. All right, 253. And now here we are. And this is Friday night. And it's the comedy show. It is. It's, it's a very seriously comedy right now, everybody. Yeah. Of course, we're live on Ocelli.com Friday night. You can call in if you want. 319-527-5016. You may call tonight, any Friday night that we're here. They sound like we got some poop poop going on in the in the chat chat room. That's, I hear the pop pops going crazy. Who's in that chat room? The Ocelli.com chat room is Everybody's quite lively tonight. So I can tell. I can hear them popping in my ears. Creative mm. accidents there. Count Pupper, Citizen GX, Phase Shifter. So, yeah, got a lot of friends there. It uh, looks mm. like we have creative accidents as well at the Twitch uh, oh, he's chat. The- he's saying warning, warning, warning there. So you can warning, warning, watch the live warning, stream of this on Twitch, on YouTube, on Twitter. And, of course, we're live with the radio show on Ocelli.com. So so many ways to listen live on Friday nights yeah, YouTube, or the podcast. The YouTube stream still has a chat room too, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if yeah, you go to chat. Uncle's YouTube page, you can watch the live stream of the video while it's happening. Uh-huh. Or it is still the, has it, yeah. It's yeah. archived there, too, yeah, after the fact, if you want to watch yeah. it later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the late one. Right. The late show. And you're <laughs> all appreciated no matter where it is you're listening to Uncle the Broadcast. So, <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. We, we're actually getting comments in from the YouTube channel from Count Pupper. He's Who's, saying it does, yes. So, okay, cool. There you go. Yeah, the YouTube channel is working just fine there. So we're getting comments from YouTube. We're getting comments from Twitch, comments from Shelly.com chat room. We're all over the Internet, Uncle. This is exciting. Well, and um, people are finally opening up. Friday night. Why not have have a little tour? I mean, why not? Well, here we are. I was about to say, since we don't have a guest yet, don't have a guest tonight. I was going into what Chuck wanted to hear last week. Ah. How the football is going. Hey, before you now go to... Now we got our final two, people. Right, right. Uncle, before you do this, though, let's just recognize yeah. we do have listeners in other countries who might think you're talking about something else when it's football because uh, you got <laughs> listeners in France, you have listeners in the U.K., and you have listeners in Australia tonight, according to the Ocelli stream. So let's just be clear. We're not talking about uh, what they call footy, I think, in Australia. I forget. Oh. Ben might be able to help me out with that. It's not it's that. It's not no footy. It's a, it's a kick, and they hit the ball. And it, <laughs> right. It's not they what we call. They do a lot of throwing and a lot of running. A running Less kicking, and really, kicking. but they do yeah. that, too. They do that one yeah. hand, extra point, or... Oh. Right, point, so it's punching. it's not Australian football, it's not rugby, no. it's not soccer, which is what we call football. Some places in Europe, they call yeah. that football. No, 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 um, we're talking about American football here. So let's be clear the for the NF, international listeners. The NFL. The NFL, uh, correct. For you people to know what it means. I'm ready to get to the point. No, oh, you're getting right to it, okay. See? what What is the point, Uncle? That's what... The people from the other state that telling them what it actually is. Mm. There actually is American Football League. Gridiron, they sometimes call well, it. Well, 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 that. That's another name. Just another yeah. name. Lots That's another names name. Run. It was just, uh, there's mm. names they give out and they say all that, but, but that's for the people out of the United States. I asked them to tell if that's what they are. Want to know? Got the Super Bowl coming up. The almost. Super Bowl very soon. in about a week. Very soon. In a week. From tomorrow. Yeah. No, from Sunday. A week from Sunday. That's right. A week yeah. from Sunday, actually. 
Yeah. And our team's in it, aren't they? Uh, boys are in it. The Rams. The Rams. The Los Angeles Rams. Uh, they put the chips in the middle, and they got what they wanted. More now, or less, that's what they did. Now, wait a minute, Uncle. The, I got a question team. for you, because you could be rooting for more than one team based on where you live, huh? Rams, Rams. Oh, you're Rams going Rams. Are only teams. Rams okay. teams are only teams. All right, but they're going, they're playing at home, aren't they? That's their home yeah, stadium. Actually, yeah, yeah, they're, they're at their home stadium, yes. So far. But, but what I hear, I think they may not be the home team. What I understand well, from Los what Angeles? I'm for what I'm listening to on the 220 show. Well, that's you, confusing. You mean technically, like how they play the game and how they put the scoreboard and stuff. Is that what you mean? Well, yeah. You can choose to receive and you can choose to defend which goal, which makes you the home team or whatever. But the truth is, it's oh. their stadium. So, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. their stadium. Yes, so they're home. They're home playing it. Right. I'm not right. saying that they're not the way team. The uh, Cincinnati is the away team, yeah. right. but but the way they react to it, to me, I, I don't understand how they saying it. Mm -hmm. uh, who, uh, they are they are four four point five point spread a lead. They they got that lead. LA's favored to win. Favored to win it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And By four and a half points, apparently. Yeah, four, four and a half. That's what the computers are saying. Five. That's what the computers are saying in, in Vegas. Well, and it was Vegas quite competitive. Odds. Vegas odds. It's quite competitive because, uh, frankly, the, the, the two playoff games last the uh, last weekend there were, I, look, I'm not usually a guy who watches football anymore, but I did watch it as a kid. And I got to tell you, good games. Uh, really competitive, oh, yeah. really, uh, uh, you know, Coming down to the wire in both games, yeah, the, yeah, the, all, yeah, all yeah. The they ball, they were, but yeah. you know what got me on the on the the late game, the month the Forty Niners and us playing. Mm -hmm. I told you when it will start. I told you when it was going to count. Those six weeks into the playing, uh, six weeks, they beat them six times in the regular season. Wash that all off. The 49ers, that doesn't yeah. mean a thing. The mm. thing means when they go to the championship, they'll beat them. And mm. what did I tell this little uh, tell sidekick? What I tell you, sidekick? Yeah. So the Rams that would, it, that they'll beat them. They that reversed be their in losing it. streak against right. the 49ers, right. which yeah, the 49ers had beat the Rams like six times in a row. Well, that's exactly the point. So they finally right. yeah. won when it counted. The right, right. And, and and that's what you mean of putting all the chips in. Okay, fair and enough. And they do, and they did that. They put all the chips in to get the players, and they did all that. And this is why I believe they're going to win it. Okay, so doing my job as producer, just want to let you know, Uncle, that you got one caller, which is a holdover from Aaron's Hour. That's Dennis Ford on the uh -huh. line. And there is a new caller. So you have two Ooh. waiting on the regular phone line if you want to get to uh -oh. them, but it's your oh, show, well, so you tell me. Let's get to them now. Okay, sure. You, you want to go, which caller? You want to go you, to the first caller, Uncle? You want to go to Dennis? Or, really was. Well, okay, uh, you want to go to Dennis, who was on with Aaron in the last hour, or you want to go to your new caller for this hour first? Which one you want? That's who I'll... Uh, Unmute. Oh. Do you um, want the, the person that was on the government hour, or do you want to talk to the person who just called in? The one that just called in. I have to know these new people. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I, I don't I'm think this caller is new, just so you know, like, it's oh. new to you, but he's new, new to, to this hour. New to the first caller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I meant. So, caller, you're on the air. Hello. Oh, Jimmy James. Hey, How God. Guys, no, no, Leon, this is not... Wait a minute. This is Jimmy James. This is my regular caller. What are you talking about there? Uh, <laughs> well, in uh, fairness, uh, what hey, are you talking about? Listen, yeah. recognize though. In fairness, Uncle Jimmy James is a caller I, to every show. He calls everybody. I, I, know I he love is. him. I know he, he is. But that's my regulars. That's he's my your, regulars. He's your regular. He's my regular. He's Donald Jeffrey's regular. Jimmy James <laughs> is the Ocelli.com caller. Baby, he uh, is the yeah, man. Yeah. He shows week, up if everywhere. If you want somebody to, to break a tie or, or get to a win, I call for him and he'll call. Uh, but but listen, creative accidents always counts as two callers if he ever calls in. Just saying. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When is he ever going to do that? That's what I'm he's, with. He's active in the chat right now. He's saying new people, and he's saying call uncle. He loves pretty lady callers, he's saying. Oh, yes, no, he's was... right on that. Hey. Uh, so... Lady callers might get priority. All right. Anyways, oh, just yeah. saying. Well, <laughs> Jimmy what, James. Uh, hey. Oh, hey, Jimmy J. Hey, ladies first, what boys. You, yeah. What, what, Jimmy J, what do you have to say tonight? Uh, all I got to say is Stafford and those stinking Rams better win now that they ruined Tom Brady's career. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom Brady, Tom Brady was going to hang it up anyway. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you know, you know, he was gonna. He was about to be gone after <laughs> after this coming year. Because I knew it was. Uh, sure, but he Tampa, needed that. He needed that eighth ring. No, Tampa <laughs> Bay though. But listen here though, Jimmy J. Tampa, Tampa knew any time it was gonna come. She's actually said it. One of the, the coaches actually said it on the, on the other show that it would be coming any time, and I knew it would be. Besides that, wait, wait a minute. Besides that, no man outside of a pimp named Slip, Slickback needs eight rings, all right? So let's <laughs> yeah, just yeah. leave that alone. You only got ten. You got ten fingers. You got ten fingers. You don't need eight, eight rings. Get out of here. Come on now. Six, seven, yeah, enough of that. That'd be Brady. only on the middle finger. <laughs> if you really think about it, it's not even. You got two extras. You have ten fingers. You what just the leave heck the, you gonna get eight for? Just don't do <laughs> the don't thumbs. Don't make any sense. Just don't do the thumbs, and you got it. But the, what, you know, don't do the thumbs. <laughs> yeah, that's all. And and then you know, look. A pimp yeah, got to control. Cool. A, I forgot about that. A pimp got to control a woman's mind. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's all I can think of when I see that much jewelry on a man's hands. It's that's like that's true. I didn't think of that. <laughs> you know, come on. That's uh, true. I'm Tom Brady about those thumbs. <laughs> Enough already with Tom Brady. Enough with the thumbs. Right. Okay. Anyway, yeah, sorry, yeah. I had to throw that in. Jimmy James, I'm sorry I interrupted you. Go ahead. <laughs> so now what? So now what? What do you think is gonna be the? One, the one you think is going to catch him, Jimmy James. Hmm. Who's going to win this thing? Yeah. Well, well, I already know, but what do you think? <laughs> you can have it. Uh, a... Stafford was my quarterback for like the last decade. Uh, I don't know. You, you, now, are I'm you happy? To, very offended, he, I'm just a very... No, I'm not happy. You're not? Okay, <laughs> yeah, so you feel spite towards Stafford then. Okay. Wait, oh, the problem in Detroit... I can tell you one thing. The problem in Detroit, he never had a line. That's why he never had a chance uh -huh. to get nowhere. He didn't have a line to... Here's the thing. Think check, though. If, my, if I may interject. Ten years ago, when he was a much younger man, the Lions had what I'll call an amazing lineup team. We had Calvin Johnson. We had Dominic and Sue. What more did he need? And now he takes this Rams team to the Super Bowl? Come on, man. <laughs> he had those plays? <clears throat> Sidekick, he had those plays? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm reading in the chat room too. Creative accents is saying something about. Um, I don't know if I can answer your question now. Creative accents. My brain is uh, slowly turning around. I'm trying to understand what Matthew Stafford's up to. Well, you know oh, what the problem is. You know what the overall problem is here is that you're talking about the problem in Detroit was this. Why did you, the problem with Detroit and the Lions is they're in Detroit. That's the end of that. Come on, man. When was the last time the Lions really were? I mean, it's like, you know, hey, dude, what about the Browns? <laughs> you know, some, uh, some, the, that one in back they had is the last time they won a Super Bowl. What was his name? He's in the Hall of Fame, you know? Wait, what team? Number 20. Hmm. Wait, what On what team? Detroit when he played. Oh, on Detroit? Uh, the running back, you're saying? Yeah. 
I, don't, I wasn't really watching. It's, it, it, it's like you asking, know. why don't the Jets win? Because they're the Jets. Move on. I mean, <laughs> that's all there is to it. The last time the Jets won, I can tell you when the last time the Jets won, went the third, the third Super Bowl. Yeah, Joe Namath. The guy who's Joe doing Namath. yeah, the that guy who's the doing last time they won the Super Bowl. The guy who's doing Medicare man. commercials now, right? I mean, you know, the dude, really. Uh, you know, it's like the, the Lions. They didn't win. It doesn't matter if you put every – you could put Tom Brady on the Lions, they'd lose. It, it's just – it's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. well, well, yeah. <laughs> well he, he was a – he was a uh, mamarine, a mamarine all the way when he went to Michigan. He's a Michigan man. He was a Michigan oh, yeah, man yeah, all sure, the way. Brady, yeah, okay, he, okay. He I mean, he knew yeah, how yeah, to handle the Wolverines. You know, yes, but you you play in Detroit and you just survive the commute. You won. I mean, that's all there is to it. So come on, <laughs> you know, it's just it's the very same thing where they stuck the Jets. Anyway, forget it. Uh, when, uh, the Jets. All I got to say is Jets for when you wanted to tell me Lions. It, it, they don't win because they are who they are. That's it. <laughs> so. I gotta say, we we gave them this year. A decent quarterback, at least, that would, was in the Super Bowl with the Rams at the time. Now, he they got to build around him. That's what they need. Build around him in the draft. Detroit, the, if Detroit does that, they may get somewhere. Uh, but, yeah, uh, maybe. but we do it a different, but the Rams do it a complete different way. Jimmy Jenny, James. Jesse James. Jimmy James, any comment on that? Uh, don't forget, you still got Dennis hanging on the line, too. Yeah, I was going to call him as soon as he gave me a... Hello? Yeah, I guess. Well, you know, Goff started doing good the last four or five games. Maybe it's just going to take him a while to catch a strike. Right, so what he needs, like I said, is players around him. Like, see, they got to build... Like our Rams do, and our defensive line, they have to build them to that. They have to build them to that kind of thing. That's where the players are at. Winning Super Bowls is not offense. Completely, it is not offense. That game actually was a defensive game, and that brought them to the Super Bowl. The defensive players has did it. They're the ones that pulled, it, pulled the strength to get there. That's my thought, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defense did a lot. They did it, and, that, and they said, you saw, what's his name, showing his finger. I'm getting oh, one. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, getting yeah. One. yeah. Uh, yeah, Aaron Donald. Aaron O'Donnell, yeah. my boy. Yeah. So he um, he did that. He did that. The Rams Listen. have a lot of good players. I know. And, so, yeah, and they did it. Team. And they did it a complete different way. Not just through the draft, through other ways. Mm -hmm. They knew how to do it. They knew how to do it. They were very smart doing it that way. No. <laughs> so, uh, oh, uh, so you yeah, got yeah. that, Jimmy James? Did, yeah, did, were you paying attention to all that, Jimmy? Jimmy, you see, you see what the Sean McVay and company did. Yeah, you understand, it, Jimmy? Oh, I see. Yeah, For yeah, sure. it's amazing. That's a... I guess at the end of the day, Stafford was just a better fit for LA than Golf. Yeah, why? Because, like I told you, he didn't have nothing. He didn't have nothing. He all he kept doing was throwing, throwing, throwing. You have to have a running down, a, and they didn't have anybody. Yeah, God, but this uh, in this in this team in this team, he has everybody. He has a receiver. He has a running back. He has he has he can throw. He can do all these do all these other things. That's what brings you to the Super Bowl. That's right. That brings you there. That's what that's what did it. Damn. Oh, wait, Jimmy. Uh, hold on for a minute. Let me get on that second one for the second caller. Yeah, okay, you want to go to this other caller? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So let's like, let's really go man. to that line then. Let's see here. So, uh, right. caller, oh, other look. caller here. Uh, Dennis. 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 Uh, you're on yeah, the line. Uh, you're on the line uh, with the comedy show. Yes, hello. Yeah, yeah, it's comedy. Yeah, 
long time less long time listener, first time caller. Uh, oh. Chuck, I want to I want to tell you something real quick. You do definitely have a face for radio. Nobody wants to look at that ugly mug. Yeah, no, Please. I agree. <laughs> it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. Spare, spare us from that. Now, uh, a few minutes ago, somebody was mentioning number 20 for Detroit. That's Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders that's is right, the greatest running back. Barry Sanders, I couldn't think of the name. Had. Yeah, well, he that was the last time that they won, hasn't it? Exactly, in the playoffs, yeah. In the playoffs. That's true. Yeah, that's, that what that I thought. True. that's what I think. I, that's what I thought. Yo, right. I watched Barry Sanders lose a shoe and break for 60 yards and get a touchdown. So, greatest running nice. back of all time. I don't care what anybody says. And if you have anything to say about Detroit, uh, just look at the rappers that came out of that city. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's fair enough. Uh, and, and, you know, and you know, and they, and, and the Rams and the Rams don't have a, a, a first round pick until two twenty four. Yeah, I think twenty twenty five. They get their first. Completely uh, different. To wrap, to, to wrap this all around. To wrap this all around, what's the halftime show uh, for this year's Super Bowl? Oh, uh, we got Dr. We got Dre and Dr. Dre. Eminem. And Eminem. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, they're all going to be there for the show. My favorite. Yeah, my favorite because I'm almost 50 years old and I love fucking Dr. Dre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Dr. Dre. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, look, I, the, the, the other thing is, I, I'll tell you what, Uncle, you want to make sure that the Rams win? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a little. I'll give you a little superstitious tip, and I'll bet you, you you make a bet with me is all you got to do. Because I have picked every Super Bowl incorrectly, with the exception of two, my whole life, and that means yes, indeed, I picked the Buffalo Bills four times. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I, that. I did, I did. All right, four times, and they lost all so, four. So here's what you got to do. I will bet you one dirty dollar. Okay, and, and I'm going to specify this bet. One dirty dollar. All right, and I'll take the points, and I'll take the Bengals. One dirty dollar. Now, what do I mean by it. a dirty dollar? You got it. It I'll means that... I'll you, give it to you. You got to physically you send me. Bet, Uncle. If I'll give I win, you that bet, because I, I, can, okay. I can protect on my defense. My defense, they know what to do. You got to send I'll me... I'll that, well, that. Okay, okay, but if you lose... You got to send me one beat up dollar bill that barely <laughs> looks like anybody wants to touch it. All right. Oh, I got to. And, and if I lose, if, if it came out, listen, I'm not talking about stripper dollars. I'm talking about worse than that. All right. I mean, a dollar bill that somebody looks at and goes, is this still a dollar bill? It's got to be in one piece, but it's got to look messed up. I got one for you sitting here already. You got to find me a dirty dollar if you lose. But here's the thing I bet on the Super Bowl. I lose, man. So I'll tell you what. I'll take the Bengals. Dirty dollar bet, four points. I'll take the points though. So yeah. the yeah. the that bro, means Bro, since so, mm -hmm. Cincinnati's not winning the Super Bowl. Here's the thing too, is a lot of people don't really uh grab <laughs> concepts of it's like hey, all this all this are, uh already it's already predicted. Uh, it's already laid out in the cards. This is they already know the winner, dude. Like the, everything you're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about, uh, you know, I, you I, I, just give me give me a second here. Going back yeah. to like, hey, let's talk about we got people in Australia. We got people throughout the world. Yep. They already know this shit. People in America don't know this. They don't yeah. know that these things are already pre pre or, you know, orientated that it's going to happen a certain way. Um, again, and like I said, this halftime show, they have this halftime show already set up because dudes that are pushing 40 are going to jack off when like dr dre's performing on stage and they're like oh my god well, it's like i was in high school and well i'll tell you something it. i, I tell you so, dennis it's so amazing oh, no oh, i know i know but who, dennis uh, here's the reality wait, who wait. has cable television in in in, in 2020 <laughs> uh whatever year we're in i don't even pay for for any television i'm not watching the super bowl no it's fair bad enough, enough. It's bad enough we live in a society where things are are predicted the way they are. And the NFL is a perfect example of that because they know everybody's entertained and everybody wants to know who's going to win. What? But they already know who's going to win. You know, a couple yeah, of weeks they ago. They, they, a uh, they know. A couple exactly. of weeks ago. Yeah, I bet yeah. you right now I bet you Vegas to, uh, knows too even. Well, look, yeah, any, makers. anybody who knows about, you know, the, the, the sports book world knows exactly what's going on. But here's the thing. 
Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, Donald Jeffries had a guest on uh, who was the author of The Fix Is In, which is all about how all of it is rigged. Um, and you know what? There's yeah. very few people that are willing to say it, uh, but uh, but we're willing to get on it. I don't know if this is the you know the venue for it right this second, but just wanted to drop in that plug. No, we did that, have that uh, as a point of discussion this, because this is, it's real. Real quick, real quick, Chuck. Like I said, do not do videos because nobody wants to look at your ugly mug. Yeah, but I got that message already. Thanks to do this because <laughs> um, a lot of people don't really understand that you know because millions of people are going to tune into the Super Bowl and just perceive it as the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and they have no idea that this has already been. Uh, puppet masters and, and orchestrated behind the scenes. Behind you know, the scenes, and, and no one like I said, they're doing. Win. Yep. And, 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 and my main, my my whole thing is the Super Bowl halftime show because every year this is satanic ritual. Uh, some some weird shit that goes on during the Super Bowl halftime <laughs> show that nobody wants to talk about that mm. we've been covering for years. Right. And it's like, oh yeah, it's Eminem and Dr. Dre and. Snoop Dogg and everybody that oh, yeah, I grew up I like, listening to. It's just I like Snoop Dogg. You know, That's my boy. I like Snoop Dogg. I, 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 these, these are good artists. These are not people yeah. that are bad at music. Mm. But the point is that they, they're trying to give you they're trying to give you uh, lifesavers. They're trying to give you something to that you can suck on while you watch it. And then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember that song. I remember that song. And then when it's over, you're like, oh, that was that was great. You know, that was good. And then you're watching football for the next hour and a half. You're like, oh, this, this, is... you're not really entertained. That's what I'm saying. You know, well, well just, but but you kept, yeah, it a little yeah, bit. but you kept, engaged. you kept engaged. You know, that's the thing. You kept engaged, yeah. and of course, there's a whole agenda to that. Dennis, I'm going to put you on hold, and uh, oh, yeah. and we're going to yeah. continue on with the discussion because I know that Uncle might have something to say about the halftime shows. I don't know the way he sees it. I got a yeah. lot of different feelings about the halftime shows, but. Other callers could also join in. We still got Jimmy James mm -hmm. hanging on and Dennis hanging on. But you could become part of the conversation at 319-527-5016. 319-527-5016. And uh, let, let's, let's go back to uh, where Uncle's thoughts were. I don't know if you have any to add about the uh, halftime shows. I know you said you like Snoop Dogg, and I can see that. Uh, yeah, you know. I, 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 I sort of like that kind, except... I have to understand the song. Mm -hmm. Rap is no good because I cannot understand them. <laughs> I cannot understand the music. Yeah. Where I can't understand is her, his wife. How do they hear these things and they can't understand the words? Wait, Snoop Dogg's that wife? That bothers me. Are you asking? Are you asking about Snoop Dogg's wife or life? No, 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 no. Uh, no, See, I think uh, he's talking side, about my wife. My side oh, 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 I misunderstood. Her, her, her. She, well, she, she like listens. That she would listen to. Uh, oh. Something that she listened to. You're not sure how she understands the music that she listens she, to. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, okay. No, I misunderstood. Uh, you know, look, yeah. occasionally, I mean, I'm pretty good at Uncle E's, but... Uh, but sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes I miss. So, uh, just saying. Well, <laughs> it's it's crazy. I'm, I'm doing some laps in the swimming pool. She's playing this music, and... So, bom, 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 bom. What the heck is a song? Bom, 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 bom. That's all I'm hearing from the bouncing and the bouncing the thing in the I'm in the so car. Boom, boom, boom. They go down the street. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what the heck are they talking. What that singing? You can't understand it half the time. Mm. That's what I can't understand about rap. Okay, That's fair enough. Point about fair rap. enough. Just mine. Fair enough. That's uh, my all the way around. All the way around. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta have those clear vocals, huh, Uncle? Yeah, yeah, to understand clear. the song. It's to understand the song. You're more of an opera kind of her, her sister and her, they're both the same. They're both the same. <laughs> they they do the same darn stuff. Darn them listening and can't understand what word they're singing saying. Boom, 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 boom. The, the, the chat crazy. over at Twitch, so they're... So we've got somebody called Xenon mm. in the Twitch chat okay. saying, let's see here, uh, but Good here we are too. talking sport ball. And then Creative sport Accent ball. says, Xenon, he doesn't read Twitch. Chuck reads his site chat. Okay, but we read Twitch. Uh, Chuck, yeah, isn't reading the Twitch chat. We do a whole lot of chatting going on here. But if you're chatting, 
we see we do see it so uh, and if you want to call you can call in the show anybody anybody in the chat room if they want to call the phone's on mm-hmm. and Xenon says thanks yeah you're welcome and yeah if you want to call 319-527-5016 also come on through Skype yeah, Charles can... Dottocelli is yeah. Chuck he'll bring you on the show send yeah. me a message Oh, look, we got another call. There you go there, sidekick. You did. You said something. Right. Hello, honest caller. Who's honest caller? Where you from, man? Who is it? Well, I think there might be a ruckus among us. Uncle, Uh-oh. it's ruckus. How's it going? Ah. Hey, ruckus. What about this, uh, man, what we're talking about tonight? <clears throat> what do you got something to say? I'm not... <clears throat> I'm not the biggest sports guy, but I am a fan of the Super Bowl. You want to know why? Because of those cool commercials. Oh, oh yes, yes. I was going to come to that. Uh, you just hit another thing on the whole stone. I did like those commercials. They are very, very funny. Well, wait a second, because, you know, this year is one of the weirdest years where I haven't seen a big blow up yet. Usually it's weeks before they start previewing there's going to be a controversial Super Bowl commercial. It's usually nothing. But, I mean, <laughs> but they do this a couple of weeks before. I just realized I haven't seen that this year. Uh, Ruckus, have you? That's a good point. Yeah, I haven't either. Well, maybe you're not looking in the right spot, Chuck. Um, Uh, I think we're going to see, this is my prediction, that we're going to see a lot of cryptocurrency-related ads come out of the woodwork. Oh, boy. Um, There are, I mean, Tom Brady, I think you guys have been talking about him. Um, He's a sponsor for a huge cryptocurrency exchange called FTX which is, oddly enough, something that people in America can't even use. There's a special American version of it. Um, But there's this commercial for this other place called Mm Crypto.com, and there's this huge, big-budget commercial starring Matt Damon. Yes. And that's been causing quite a controversy. And I think they're going to air that or something like that or an extended version of that or a sequel to that in the Super Bowl. I wouldn't put it past them. Um, but there are people who are pissed off about like these these big name celebrities pushing cryptocurrency, and I wonder who that could be. Maybe the bankers, but um, I don't know. But I'm I'm always excited to see what they push forward for Super Bowl ads because I'm a marketing that, guy. So you know, I uh, like I like to see it. it. They're amusing and they they're usually memorable. You know, like you I can like, probably think of what's your favorite like Super Bowl ad you've ever seen, Uncle? I like the ones with the dogs. Dogs. Okay. That was one year they had the dogs. They are going crazy. <laughs> and then they had a ball, and then they got going to the ball. A little guy was running around the field, threw the ball around. Are you talking about that game, like the puppy bowl? Is puppy that... bowl, puppy bowl. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you... It's like a puppy bowl. Like, oh, the puppy bowl. The... <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing they do, yeah. Um... I, uh, I sort of got to enjoy <laughs> watching that because they're running around. And where's the ball? Where's the ball? And you see, you know, guys, nobody is ever going to beat, to me, Bud Weiser. Nobody's ever going to beat that. <laughs> Remember the Budweiser Frogs premiere? I mean, the Budweiser with the horses. No, those are always cool. Yes, yes, I do remember. But remember the they frogs? They were kicking the pool, Bud. and they were going, poom. yes, Bud. I remember that one. No, 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 I'm talking about the frogs sitting the in, frogs. in. Yeah, Bud. Frogs. Bud. Wise, er. Why? Yeah. <laughs> but that that come talking about the Budweiser for a minute. You got taught me something, Chuck, about that. Did anybody see the ones with the horses? Oh, I yeah, sort of liked that one too. Yes. Clyde Steel. Yes, yeah. I mm-hmm. thought that was pretty cute. That's, that, those are classic. Everybody remembers the Clydesdales. I've been uh, noticing these crypto commercials too, though, Ruck, as I have. And uh, I think that they're renaming the Staples Center in downtown LA the Crypto. Oh, yes. I think, I, it's, I think it's crypto.com center or something. Yeah, right? yeah. I think they're yeah. changing the name. See, yeah, crypto, crypto commercials, though, I see as a general sort of thing that's gone on everywhere. I mean, whether you're on YouTube or. Uh, or you know, just listening to a radio, you're getting crypto commercials all over the place. They got a crypto card now that they're pushing, uh, so you can utilize it and integrate it with other things. Uh, there's that going. On. I didn't see it as specifically a Super Bowl controversy because there's usually some sort of thing with the Super Bowl that becomes controversial about a commercial or the halftime show, 
And I just don't see the same fervor this year that I've seen in the past. Again, like you said, Ruckus, I could still be looking in the wrong places. But so far, and, and again, I'm not engaged with the NFL stuff so much, although uh, Mrs. O watches the football, so I, I caught, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, she's no, she's well, definitely the person to talk to football about. I'm just not um, engaged mm-hmm. with it as much mm-hmm. anymore. But I did see the last parts of both games last week and uh, was pretty impressed with the fact that they were competitive and interesting because yeah. last time I was tuned in, they weren't, you know. Yo, been what, really good games, what got yeah. my attention of saying p- protective to uh, to playing better, I liked it because it was interesting. Mm-hmm. It's not like you say, like, oh, here they're going to gonna blow them out. Not a single blowout of any of those playoff games were even mentioned. All right, so but you are taking me on that bet, right? Oh, yeah, i take on that. All right, but I got four points, so that means the Rams got to win by more than four, okay? Yeah, I got to figure it out. So whatever your score is, I add four. They got to win by more than four for you to win the bet. So if they win more by three, I still win. What? You understand? If you win by what? If they win by three, if they win by a field goal somehow. I still win yeah. the bet because I bet on the Bengals and I have four extra points, you see, to work with here. Okay, that's the spread right now. It's four points the way I read it anyway. I don't know. You four, guys can check four it. Point, four point five. Four point five. Well, we'll, we'll just make it even. <laughs> what the half point? I don't You know, yeah. it's okay. We'll it's make it even. It was. That's what it is right now. Can't forget that I'm, half I'm, a I'm, point. We you got to get them half a point in here. Okay, you want to give me the half so. point? Then that means they're going to have to make it by five, really. That's what that five comes down points. to. Yeah. Five points. I'm okay. making an even number. Five points. I Uncle that. being generous with the bet. Five yeah, points. That, I'll All give right. you five points even. All right. Because I know what they're going to do. Oh. I know what my boys are going to do. So they we're, we're going to get your they prediction should. here with the last uh, 14 minutes, huh? Okay. Mm. What's oh, your well. prediction? Oh, my prediction. Yeah. Oh, for the actual score. Oh, final score. Yeah. You mean? Uh, let's see. He's thinking about it. He's yeah, it's a on tough it. one. It's, so it, it's going to be over five points that they're winning by, right, Uncle? So we know that much. 35 to 20. 35 Ooh. to 20. Oh, look at that. That's about the even one. There we go. That's somewhere, in that, somewhere in that area. Okay, so that's your prediction. But that is a solid defensive and offensive game. So that's a good mix mm-hmm. up there mm-hmm. at 35-20. Nice. Yeah, that's a lot of points. Okay, and it's a, it's quite a few scores there, you know, uh, yeah, depending yeah. on what happens. I mean, you, you got to strike a bunch. So, yeah. okay, mm-hmm. fair enough. I mean, I, gi- I give them credit for them because, like I said, they threw all the chips in, get these players, and I believe that that's what the score will be. Fair enough. I, you know, they, hey, uh, the owner, I love how this owner works. This owner is excellent. It's not like it's not like the stupid owner from the Dolphins. Oh, we um, I've got another mention. He something. might be in trouble right now. I, by I'm the way. I'm gonna have. I know he is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm 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 mention something else besides this. Uh, about the uh about the owners for these football teams. What do you think about this guy that brought him up from? One no game to nine, and then and then the owner of the Dolphins kicks him off the team. That mm. is oh, solid stupid. We're talking about the Dolphins. Dolphins right now. Okay. Sorry about. Dolphins, about the Dolphins have had right problems. Now. And 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 I and I and I from that point, and having that coach, I thought he did excellent work. I don't care if he's. Oh yeah, well, the guy, yeah, and yeah. this problem, uh, that problem, uh, I'm saying problem, uh, and 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 having this problem, I agree with him. I really do agree with him. Everybody has a chance to get a game coaching job. This yeah. is not. They this fire dude. so quickly. Yeah, it's, fire. It's, it's, they it's fire ridiculous. just yeah. because because he don't make the Super Bowl, the playoffs. And and now they now. Did, now, now the allegation is that it was racially motivated too, and that's what the mm. whole lawsuit is uh, motivated. against motivated the, the Dolphins. Who? Now, yeah. Well, what's the name of the coach? I, I, I can't recall it. At- Jeff. 
I, I just picked up on that story where it was like, you know, they basically interviewed him for a job because of a quota, but there was no chance he was going to get that job at the time of the interview, which is kind of crappy thing to do. I mean, the argument uh, for the Giants there could be that they were, and I believe it was the Giants that were interviewing him, could be that, you know, they needed options, even though they had already made a decision, they still wanted to follow up on some options, and that would be, you know, a, a non uh, sort of like we're just filling our quota thing to call in the one black guy. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of a. That's exactly yeah. the point, Chuck. Mm -hmm. You hit it right there. That's the point he's arguing about. Right. What was the point of me getting an interview? It's already been taken. This yeah. is this is the point you were just saying. Right. Hey, j another I mean, weird thing I just wanted to let you guys know is that our stream is actually being invaded by a bunch of people that are described as being in Europe only. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know what that means. It's just Europe. It's got this weird European... Like, they actually show me little flags of the countries on my little thing that I monitor the stream. And mm. I see a couple of people in Australia. I see France. Yeah, all that's happening. But now there's this just European flag, which is mostly blue. Oh, like and the EU with the, the blue EU. flag with the yellow stars? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's they exactly it. a comedy show. And it doesn't specifically name a country. It just says Europe. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. Well, but a no, there's a no, handful no. of them. So welcome, Europe, um, yeah, to, this, no. to the show. I just say welcome, Europe. That's yeah. just, it's just as easy. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so go ahead, though, about this. I don't know, you know, look, I got a lot of things I could say about it, but your view on it, what do, what the, do you think? The view I'm, I'm, I'm sort of angry about, everybody takes a chance of getting a job. I'm, I'm happy for his fight, and I'm, I'm glad he's suing, first of all, the NFL. When do you ever have a black coach wanting black coach you from Pittsburgh? He's black and he's gonna he's got a job. Well why can't this guy sort of get a job? Well and, you know And this don't seem any anything different than having let's say a white person come. Well, see, the thing is, about the head coaching jobs, it's true that it's very, very rare for a black guy to get a head coaching job. But, you know, the other weird thing is that if you take a look at what you would think would be perfect spots for former players who happen to be smart, and let's be honest about the former players and the racial makeup, you would think that it would produce, just the system itself would produce lots of offensive coordinators, defensive coordinators, and yeah, truth is, too. it doesn't. It really but doesn't. You so you I, you know, know oh, I don't know what to right. say about uh, it, whether uh, it's really a racist policy or not, or I a mean, racist policy. That's it. That's what they're arguing about. Yeah, this yeah. it because some everybody, in my opinion, has a chance to get some, but I think the NFL has got a policy problem, mm -hmm. and I think that was what the fort was because of uh, Frank. Uh, what was his name? Um, that coach from uh, he come from New England. Oh, uh, uh, but um, oh Belichick, another, yeah, no Belichick turned around and texted the guy and said, "Hey, yeah, glad you got the job." And it was a mix-up apparently, because uh, yeah. somebody else had already gotten the job. And he's like, "I'm on my way to the interview. What do you know that I don't?" And that's how the guy found out that he was being interviewed after they already gave the job away. You're talking about Bill Belichick texting. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. No, so, I, what, yeah. so what did he do? So what did Belichick do? Well, Belichick he, didn't uh, do nothing he wrong. He just congratulated he the wrong guy. Oh, coach, and put him in his corner. Well, he just congratulated the wrong guy on a text message. They, I mean, that, that's oh, really oh. what that is. So. I don't, you know, hate to say it, but Belichick didn't do nothing wrong. He was just thinking he was doing a good thing by congratulating a guy. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that. that <laughs> you know, but, uh, yeah. So I mean, he didn't know anything was going on, but did he know? So he didn't even do it on purpose. I didn't realize that. I, yeah. I, I don't know all these details. Uh, right. my not, it, I'm not, not details. either, but we're, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. It's what I'm trying to do, and I've been listening whole week here trying to figure out what is this – quarterback i mean these coaches plans are to get a crazy job and here these guys are trying like 
You go for a job. These guys are looking for a job. Who's that? That's, all. That's just a, uh, Skype oh. here. Uncle. Yeah. No big deal. No big deal. Uh, listen, I'm going to bring Jimmy James back into the call because okay. we had him on okay, hold. Jimmy Ruckus James. is still there. Right, Jimmy James, come back in. But you guys um, got about 10 more minutes to work with, just so you know. Okay. Okay. Jimmy James. Yes, what do you sir, think? I wanted to get a commentary from I wanted to get commentary from you, Uncle. Uh, what What do you think you about hear that the Lakers The Lakers revoked the lifetime pass of Jerry West. What do you think about that? He passed him. Uh, that was um, that was the guy that they got Jesse uh, James. Joe James James did pass him. You're talking about um. Le Wait, LeBron James? LeBron James? Is that what you're saying? I don't know this oh, story, what Jimmy. What's, what, what are the details of this one? Is this my gun? <laughs> <laughs> my pen. Okay, you know the Lakers? You know yeah, the know. Lakers, right? Yeah, we know We know the Lakers, yeah. Well, we know the Lakers. Crypto.com yeah. crypto arena. You know Jerry West. Oh, Jerry you know West. Jerry yes, West. The, the owner, the owner. What am I talking about? He yeah. ain't the owner of nothing. Jerry West is the guy that played, and he's he's the logo of the end of the NBA. Oh, he's the guy on the uh, logo. Okay, I I didn't oh, know that. Oh, he was. I don't know a lot about the NBA. Oh, I thought okay. I thought he was. I thought he was an owner. Okay, that's West. the guy who is the okay the picture for the logo. Okay, what's what's he up to? What's he up to? Well, what's he up to is being banned by the Lakers because all of their owners are former famous black players, and they want Jerry to be replaced by the image of Kobe Bryant. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That, that, that I can understand. That I, I can understand that reason. So they want to change the NBA logo, logo to a silhouette of Kobe Bryant instead of this guy. Is that what's going on? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Okay. Right, and they revoked his lifetime pass from the Lakers. Oh, oh, so now, okay, now, so, so he doesn't not have like, a lifetime uh, pass anymore. They just he, took that away from him. He took the pass away. I can see wanting to change the logo, but what was the reasoning behind revoking his pass, Jimmy James? Do you know? Yeah, I get that. Yeah, do you know? Well, Jerry West says it's just a straight up diss. Hmm. <laughs> Well, it might be, because that makes no sense to me. Why would you take away the guy's lifetime pass? I mean, I get it. If they feel like changing the – everybody's, you know, entitled to change their logo. But, uh, you know, for whatever reason, uh, we could argue about it, sure. But it's weird to me that they would take away his, uh, you know, like, hey, we give you a lifetime uh, pass into the games, right? And yeah. now, no. I, I don't I don't understand that at all. Yeah. Uh, and – uh, he's got you got into the point of us talking about these changes and these these uh, these jobs, though, right? It's Jimmy similar. James? It's a related story. I see. It's a I same see the story. Relation. It's yeah. a relation story. Because it seems like what yeah, it it's, it's so ludicrous. Like, why would they even bother doing that? It doesn't make sense. So it, I mean, it begs the question: like, well, what what's the true motivation there? It seems ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. That's well, that, that that's a odd. Another point. Sounds dumb. Yeah. At Crypto.com Arena, hey. Yeah, crypto buy that crypto. Uh, right, fact, right now. now, right now, they, they uh, talking about the Lakers for a moment. They are not doing very well <laughs> right no. now. They've not lost the last, what, three? Three games. Came back and won the last one or two, but lost the last three. Hmm. And my cousin, of course, tells me what's going on with the Lakers because <laughs> he watches not a lot, I guess. basketball. Okay, sounds like not much. About. Yeah, I, I've been watching basketball at all. Well, no, you don't watch basketball. Been watching the football, not the basketball. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> since we're down to the last six minutes here, maybe you want to uh, get Ruckus and Jimmy James to maybe get ready for their shoutouts and. Uh, Get close to uh, closing it out, Uncle. I mean, I know you probably got a couple more things you want to get to, but uh, yeah. we're almost done. Yeah, well, we have. Okay, and hold right on, you guys. Uh, let's just shout outs, and we'll shoot out the shout outs now. Yeah, yeah. First so one. we'll go to. Why don't we go to Jimmy first? Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, who you got for a shout out tonight? 
No, oh, you better win next week, Stafford. <laughs> yeah, he will. He will. It's a good shout out. Shout out to him. That's he a good idea. It. Matthew Stafford deserves. It. So you want and Uncle to get the dirty it's dollar? Gonna, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a, a blowout. You think so? It's possibly. It's possibly. It's possibly it could happen. I don't know about blowout, but it, it'll be. It will cl- be close. <laughs> I'm thirty-five twenty isn't a bad score. No, my my that, that prediction would be, point it's not spread. a full blowout, but that would be a pretty hefty lead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to be sure. Yeah. All okay, right. Yeah, well. So Jimmy Jimmy James is giving the shout out to Uncle getting the dirty dollar. So we'll put him on hold. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> now we'll go to Ruckus. Ruckus. Uh, Ruckus. Shout What's, out for him. Yeah. Shout out time. Shout out time. Yeah. Shout out. I'll give a shout out to all the Canadian truckers. Um, and we'll just leave it at that. Thanks, gentlemen, nice. for having me. Yeah, yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. very nice. Yeah. So, yeah, the Canadian trucker thing, we didn't even talk about that on any of the shows, not Government Hour, not Comedy Hour, so uh, maybe next week. Well, maybe <laughs> next week I will. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's because that's it's an interesting the, uh, story right there. It yeah, sure is. Well, you might. Not quite Mission. as good as Rocket Man, you know, but uh, Rocket but something. Man. Yeah, the Rocket, Rocket guy out there in, in California. What what happened? What's going on with that guy? Oh yeah, it it, it ended up being like an inflatable uh, thing attached to a drone or something. From really? what I understand. Yeah. What happened to That's him? It was just an, it was just an inflatable humanoid figure attached to a drone. So people thought that was a rocket man, but it wasn't. That's disappointing. <laughs> I really wanted that to be I a didn't dude. Need it. I really. I didn't hear about that. I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even hear about him going it up the air. It's a hoax. Hey, you know, fun. Some of the best stuff is like that. Right. And then, uh, uh, Uncle, do you have any shout outs? Here we go. And give out two. Give in two shout outs. To the ball players. Shout out to Stafford to finally have a ring. And a shout out my 99 boy and gonna do the job for me. Aaron Donald. And O'Donnell. Mm-hmm. A shout out to them. Good player. And I have those two uh, comedies. They do talk. I- I've seen them. They You're got, talking about the Rams? No, they got, they got a uh, thing. We can shoot two of them. Okay. We'll shoot. Oh, you're talking about tw- a Twitter. Twitter. They yeah, got yeah. A Twitter. We, we have been they... tweeting some Rams tweets. Yes, Tw- yeah, we'll have yeah. to keep doing show. that. Doing so that. expect tweets, Rams. Yeah. They're coming your way. Don't you worry. So shout out to the yeah. Rams. Yeah. yeah. I'll shout out to the uh, new people in the chat that Xenon I saw. So thank you for showing up. Thank you. Any new listeners we have. Um, yeah. New listeners, old listeners. Shout out to you all. Glad to have you on Friday nights. It's fun. Thank you for listening to the podcast. If you listen there, um, yeah, this is Uncle the Podcast, UncleThePodcast.com. You can find us on what Instagram and Twitter at Uncle Podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I guess Uncle, why don't you just bring it on home for the night? This is a uh, show two hundred and what? Uh, two hundred and fifty-three. Two hundred and fifty-three episode is done. 